Come up in the clouds, it's your good friend, Whimsy Rainbow Star, and we are back with Undertale. Now, last we were, this is, it looks like this is going to be something pretty interesting. I know I shouldn't probably be doing this at, what, three in the morning? Oh, sorry, it's almost six in the morning. <laughs> uh, I've not had a good night. Um, I'm trying to figure out a new recording setup right now. As you can see, there's kind of a light. I should probably have checked that elevator real quick. Hold on. I, I just, I feel like I've been in like weird elevators in use. Oh, it's that one elevator. Okay. Well then. The city reminds me of like Assassin's Creed or something. That's kind of fun. It's cool though. How come I, uh, do I get to explore the city? That would be a lot of fun. Why is it so quiet? It's kind of ominous. Very ominous. There's no audio. What the fuck? Um. Jeez. There's a bit of... Okay, another save point. This looks oddly familiar. Uh, interesting. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. Keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. What? Wow. This house is very, very strange and familiar. And there's a lot of yellow flowers. It's a golden flower. Yep. Is it the same? Yeah. Okay. Ah! Uh, there's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. You got the heart shaped locket. I'm guessing that's an item? Uh, info. Armor. Oh, nice. Should I equip it? I don't know. Uh, that seems like I might piss someone off. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Leave it. Fuck that. I can already tell. Dusty toys. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. But who is it of? There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Weird. This is weird. Room under renovations. Uh. What? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. What the fuck? Okay. Oh. Okay. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Yes. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says it's er, all the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Interesting. Number one. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs, 98. Okay. It's a burrow. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Okay then. Mirror? Yes. Alright, let's see. This music, what the fuck? It's like unnecessary. Really? Oh god. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Should probably give these guys more interesting voices. I don't know. I'm not really feeling all that great right now just because of... I don't know why. Ah! It's my favorite most balls. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Interesting. There's a key. Yes. What's in that bucket? Is it snails? It's a trash can. Oh. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Interesting. Let's go to the garden. You unlock the chain. Dip, dip. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Oh no. Oh, I think I see where this is going. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The gold flowers. The next day, the, the next day, the human died. Okay. 
Azriel, racked with grief. I thought Azriel was the human, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Whoa. Who is this? With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. Oh, whoa. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Whoa. It's different than I thought it would be. Azriel reached the center of the village. These things are so weird. There he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Whoa, I don't remember these things. Or maybe I do. Suddenly screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. Oh no! Body. They thought that he had killed the, the child. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> the humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But did he want to? That's the question. I thought I was already here! Oh god, but Azriel did not fight back. Of course not. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Was he able to? Oh god. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. Oh, okay, he was. He entered the castle and collapsed. Sorry, collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh yeah, doesn't their dust do something when they die? I don't know. The kingdom fell into despair. King and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. It's terrible. We're sorry. <laughs> I mean, the music changed. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. But I thought Asgore was like a nice person. I don't know. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, give us hope, save us all. At my demise? <laughs> Those things are so funny. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I don't know. I don't know what to feel about this. You're going to be free. I don't know about that. It doesn't sound like I am. Oh, why are there two pathways? Oh. That was dumb. Oh, why am I all shadowy? Oh god. Oh, it's that symbol, I think. Isn't it? Someone gonna be following me? Is it gonna be Sans? Uh oh. Ah, it's Sans. Is this Chrono Trigger all of a sudden? The bell? Yes. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's experience? It's an ac acronym. It stands for e execution points. Holy crap. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. Oh my god. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart, no matter the struggles or hardships you faced. <sighs> God. You, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. <sighs> no, I did it with a fuck you, no. <laughs> but never gained love, but you gained love. Hello, uh, whatever. Does that make sense? Maybe not. I don't know, Sans, with you and the puns. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now, right? But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? 
That's right. You have something called determination, of course. And so as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Is he gonna disappear? I want to see Papyrus again. What the fuck? At the door. Dude, this music. What the fuck? I say that like every time. What does this say? Throne room. Oh, okay. A save point. What? There's another pathway. God, I can only imagine playing genocide mode what Sans is gonna say to you in that moment. I plan to play it. I'm just like, guys, prepare to see me cry. <laughs> Hopefully not right now, but... Oh my god! It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Whimsy. It's empty. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, Asgore, I'm... Uh... What the fuck, dude? Oh boy. I mean, we all saw this coming, right? I mean, I think. Of course, you guys already... Just crack the wall. You guys already know. I'm sure. Undertale fandom. It was pretty. Golden flowers. Oh, my stomach's dead. Is that Asgore? Finally. Nice throne room. That's really cool. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. Music's weird. <coughs> I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. The trees over the top of that? Nice day today. Huh. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. How? There's no sun down here. We're in a cave, aren't we? Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Oh god. Okay. I don't know if I'm ready because I'm sorry guys my stomach is like killing me. That's cool looking. Okay? It's another throne covered by a white sheet. I don't know if I have the energy to do this right now so I'm gonna just go ahead and save. I hate to do that but I'm just like, I've not been feeling well lately. I don't know what it is. My luck. But we'll come back to this soon hopefully. Maybe in October because you know Halloween and whatnot monsters and everything. I don't know if I'm gonna do genocide mode. Uh, anytime soon, we'll see, but I gotta focus on Five Nights at Freddy's, and I'm trying to get a better recording setup, so there's that too. Um, granted, Undertale doesn't really require a better recording setup, but, you know, whatever. So thanks guys for watching, check the annotations at the end, and the link's in the description below. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, stay whimsical. <laughs> okay. It's my garden! I can go in it whenever I fucking want! That would piss me off. It's like, oh, the garden is not allowed to be viewed until these particular hours. Really? Whoa, that was a big sounding creature. Oh, whoa, cool! It's that thing. Oh, I need to be careful of the depth. Sandstone. Got it. Oh, I picked up gold!